Welcome to the Computer Specialist YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to show you how to, you know, look to see what's upgradable on this HP 14-CF2112WM. Um, this is a customer that brought it in and they wanted to see if it was worth upgrading. Um, they just purchased it and as you can see, um, I'll show you, uh, these have the dreaded 64 built in solid state drive. So, um, when we go into here, you're going to see that, uh, there's 102 megabyte free. So that's, uh, you know, with the operating system, <laughs> there's not much left to play with in there. So, um, I don't know why HP makes these, uh, if you look these, at the, you know, these models are um, basically what's what's called is uh, you know they they have uh, built in and then some have uh, um, basically like you can grab you can well the EMMC drive that's in there but some have like a room for an uh, NVMe or M MSATA or you know or even the traditional two and a half so we're gonna basically show you real quick. Um, you know, that's all that this has, uh, you know, in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show you, uh, basically, um, uh, two options you got in here. So, uh, sometimes you can look up the model, but some of these models vary, vary from different model numbers. Like, you know, this is a two one one two, you know, they have ones that are close and some have the, the port and I'm going to explain that all to you. But one of the things you could do on, uh, pretty much any computer, um, if you go to see them, you know, Go to the search, type CMD for command prompt, uh, run this elevated as administrator. Um, at this command prompt, you can actually go in and uh, you can get the serial number. Now, it is written on the bottom of these, but, you know, sometimes these things, the bottoms break and people swap the bottoms and there's all kinds of crazy things. So, uh, basically, uh, you can go in here. I'll put this in the description, too, but if you type that command right there, um, it's basically um, WMIC, then space BIOS, space get, space serial number all one. And you hit enter, uh, you will see right here, it will display the uh, serial number. So what you can do is you can highlight that and uh, control C, copy it. Um, you know, and I'll show you another little neat feature with the HPs. Uh, so if you go up here and you go to uh, part surfer dot hp.com so it's part surfer dot hp.com this is a website you know supported by hp and uh, so at, at this point you can uh, paste in a serial number here uh let me stick it uh yep and here and then you hit the search uh the reason why i'm going to show you this is that uh, this is pretty neat so this will show you all the part numbers for this exact laptop if you look right here under advanced unique product um there's a few things you can do here so the f3 key will actually um bring up a search bar so uh right off the bat you can see that top line so if you do the emmc it lets us know that that's a 64 gig you can see in this description right here so we know that's on board that that much we know uh, shows you the memory speed here too uh, a few things you can do while you're here so you can type like uh, ssd for instance um it'll search that whole parts list i don't see nothing in there uh you know nvme for instance uh you know nothing there uh hard drive so we can go there we can type drive and basically what we're doing is we're trying to look and see as i type drive there's one thing in the search there so if you look at this um right off the bat that's not good because <laughs> it's basically uh in this configuration there's nothing in there cable wise or something like that you know you'll get unique things and that doesn't necessarily mean that in there but it's a way before you open up the machine uh, but it was just something I want to show you. Um, you can use this with all HPs. Uh, the serial number thing works with all computers. Um, some like Lenovo and other sites have their own parts thing, but uh, just we're going to stick to the HP on this. So what I'm going to do now um, is basically I'm going to I'm going to shut down um, this computer um, and we're going to pull off the bottom and uh, see what's exactly inside. So. 
Okay, so here we have uh, the machine. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Uh, just need something to get the rubber mount, feet mounts uh, on here off, and this uh, dinner built head uh, on here. So the first we're gonna start by is uh, you know different tools you use. You know we're just gonna use the tweezers for this one. You know when you get it under here, you want to make sure you get it under the tape. So uh, so sometimes it's worth just trying to peel it up. But sometimes you get lucky right off the bat. Um, and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the tape still stuck to the rubber because it just makes it easier. Once you get up, the um, best thing to do is just slowly pull it out, you know, try not to stretch it um, and, you know, pull it off. Uh, these actually have, if you can see, there's little plugs that go into the hole. So you, you really, you know, they only line up one way. So it'll only go in this way. If you put it in backwards, it won't go. If you put it up here, it won't go. So this particular model you don't have to keep track of which one's which. <laughs> Some of these actually uh, that I've done, um, you know, they look exactly the same and stuff like that. So here's a perfect example. So on this one, as you can see right here, the tape stayed down on here. So what I'm going to do, um, which I usually do, is I'm going to spin it around and um, try the other side. That's the first thing. And as you can see, I was able to get the tape there. So I'm going to worry about it. If so, we just get something under the tape. But I try not to mess with the tape as much as possible because it's very finicky and if it pulls up and stretches it makes it hard to put back on. But basically you're gonna pull these off and these should come off easy. You shouldn't have to fight with them um, at all. Um, and then uh, so what you're gonna notice on here is um, there's three screws. Um, as you've seen like some of our other videos with the HPs, very important these two are or hinge screws they also help support these have big issues with the hinges breaking out on them too so i'll explain that in a few minutes and then you get the two up front as you notice the hinge screws in this one and um even the one back there are black and then these two are silver because you physically see them and aren't covered so we'll start with the two silver so you really don't need to i mean if you like to use a uh screw magnet uh, ice cube tray, whatever you can, but uh, for this one, I'm not gonna really because we're just gonna basically pull this off and then in. so, um, basically, these screws you're gonna take out, uh, they should come out fairly easy. Um, you know, if they feel like they're stripping, or um, you know, it's most likely your screwdriver is probably the head's probably a little bit too small. Um, so basically that's that, uh, you get the four screws, you get the one that was under the front. So three in the back, one in the front thing, and then two here, that's it. Um, so now what we're going to want to do on this is we're, you know, we're going to want to take, yeah, car pick here. Yeah, I fix it, uh, picks whatever you got is that. Um, like I said, I, I know if you guys seen some of our other videos, um, there's different people like right. I try to not open this up right now. Like in other words, not flip this up. These two screws are very important and um, of holding the hinges to the motherboard. And you, if you have one of these that's slightly older, you may already notice that stuff's broken. And it's just going to cause more damage. So what I like to do is I like to you know um, just basically while it's closed, get the pick up um, underneath the you know casing of the bottom, you know, and uh, just basically run it along there. Um, until you see that pop out and same thing you know run around the edge and the whole goal here is not to open up the laptop here just to get uh as much as you can once you have it here um you know get your fingers over and just with a little bit of pressure it'll just help pop the rest of it off uh and like i said the whole goal here is once again you know try not to have that opened up um with the hinges on but once we get it here, um, now you should be able to at least get a corner up. Once you get the corner up, uh, you know, one right under here, and uh, just wiggle, wiggle, you know, and as you see, it comes right off. Uh, shouldn't have to fight with this too much. Um, if you're fighting with it, then something's stuck, and then you should retry. So here we have it. We're inside, um, and just like I thought from the looks of there, and uh yeah you can see several um different things so um right off the bat this model does not have a fan uh it's you know no heat sink no nothing it's you know it's, i mean it's got this heat sink but it's nothing major uh because i believe this is a celeron um you're gonna see here so this is where these are very annoying um so right over here you can see where it says hd and there's a port <laughs> 
and if you look right there you know there's actually uh, a solder joint and that should have a connector which should look like one of these connectors you know these standard connectors um there is nothing there so they left that as like an upgradable option probably on some of their other mores so usually there would be a thing here and then you can you know we have some laying around from you know computers that we decommissioned or water spills all like that you know, or you can even go on ebay if they have the little port there for you know the connector for the hd you can buy that and you know you can buy the caddy or double side tape and putting a bigger drive <laughs> you know um you can't uh you know the question we get asked a lot is could you technically solder one on here um that's a good question uh we never attempted it because i'm not sure if the chipset actually supports you know the particular one here nor do i care uh, uh, at this model this entry level model that's way too much work uh you can you can actually hop on ebay and buy these working for 100 hours you know so with with the bigger drives um extendable drives but on there so um so also looking around um so there's only one memory slot so this is missing too so so if you wanted to upgrade you can pop this four gig out right here um and you know you can see that's a it's a four gig it's a ddr it's a pc4 uh 3200 so once again if you wanted to um get it eight gig you know uh, or even 16 gig which i think uh, um i would be totally against that for the fact that this thing is only a celeron and it's uh not upgradable for a hard drive wise so that's not going to make that much of a difference uh you know um if you're looking to expand on this i would get rid of the machine or look at a possible upgrade uh, one thing i can say what's fresh on my mind um you can buy this series like so this is a 2000 so just you know do your homework but there's higher end boards that are physically the same size that will go in here so you know which would totally change the model of the machine uh you might be able to pick up an ebay once again um you know overkill for a lap laptop like this but uh there um but one thing um like we do in our other videos too like if you're in here and you you know got this far uh hinge screws right here always torque them up because that's what as you can see it's this one's almost a full turn loose this laptop's only about two months old and this one's a full turn loose <laughs> so um that's what ends up breaking on these like these things you know from you know from using them they go out uh but that's pretty much it um on here um also um no signs of an mvme so i did work on one of these a few weeks ago where this shield was missing right here and it was a nvme port right here to screw in the nvme drive right here um this one i could tell you know, i'm going to peek under here without pulling it off but there's yeah there's nothing under there um and the other one was a lot nicer i think it was like an i3 or something like that um so in that case um with the i3 one we were able to put in a 256 nvme um and then clone it actually from the emmc drive to that and then once we got up and booted to the 256 i was able to go delete the onboard uh, 64 drive and use it as a secondary drive you know so you'd have the 256 as the main drive and that um you know the customer was very happy with that um this particular lady was hoping to be able to upgrade this because she does work and a lot of stuff on google and it's just bogging down uh but yeah so on this model um this is it i mean there's you know they have the spot for the hard drive just not the connector you know um if anybody watches this video ever feels the need to try to solder put on there uh you know make it put in our comments you know it would be good for other people like i said i you know i've been doing this 30 years and there's there's certain times where customers or even people on youtube or want to want to you know you know theoretically talking like that i'm like you know um if it's a little hobby of yours and you want to knock yourself out do it um you know the by the time you you find that connector or desolder off another one and do all that um you know you can go on there um what i will do um because i'm going to know more from the feedback from this particular customer um if she does want to look into replacing the motherboard on this to you know um because you can't return a laptop now it's been over 30 days so uh, you know um and we go that route um i can actually look into that and uh you know 
update to update there if I find a board that replaces this. If there's anybody else out there in the same situation, but um, but that's it. Um, you know, uh, wireless cards removable. Um, the actual uh jack is wired on. So, you know, if you did break the charging jack, that's an easy replacement on there. Um, like I said, you could upgrade the memory. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the wireless card can be replaced if that goes bad. Uh, the USB-C and the card reader is on its own port right here. So that can actually come off. Uh, no fan in here, um, you know, and we're not going to break this down for the thermal paste and all that. And the touchpad looks uh, replaceable. But uh, the most important thing on this is uh it's very upsetting um I, I personally don't know why they would even make such a laptop i mean at least put the port here give the people the option <laughs> you know it's almost like they're punishing them for buying a cheaper model but um that's it uh you know any questions or you know or you know ideas or anything like that uh you know put it in our comments and uh you know but if you have this model uh and don't feel like taking yours apart um we did all the work for you and uh you know usually my suggestion is this is to replace the entire laptop and sell this to someone that looks that's just looking to, for an email surf the web machine you know um with the 64 gig max on this and the operating system by the time you put two or three programs on there and you know a few pictures it's full but uh you know feel free to sub our channel like our you know post some comments you know any questions any other cool things that you did um you know put it back together exact same snap the bottom one you know um, i'm gonna leave this apart because we're gonna you know figure something out for this uh but uh that's it and uh th once again this is the hp 14 hyphen cf 2112 wm and uh give it thumbs down because uh not upgradable so uh you know it's i don't really know what anybody would use this for have a good day